found a dungeon when I was exploring, and I figured I should catch this on camera so that you can see the entire excitement of probably not finding any loot. Okay, so it doesn't look like any zombies have spawned yet, which is good. But maybe we'll spawn one just for fun. Or maybe not. Um, uh, oh, there we go. Okay. Just to prove that we're actually not on peace or anything. Anyways, just torch it up. Check out the loot. Might as well steal the chest. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. And we can even see about taking this mossy cobblestone because it's really nice. And I like it a lot. Fortune 2. Don't quite know what that does, but maybe we'll find out together. I think this might be a silverfish zone block, because those... Let's... We'll find out. Oh, no, it's invisible stone. Okay, whatever. Anyways, uh, that was just a quick update, and um, I'll come back when I'm done mining. Hello, everybody. I'm back just in time for a beautiful sunrise it seems I've dug and dug and dug quite a bit and I have upgraded my little shack out in the wilderness to now be a tower for something that you might guess is gonna be made out of it later on so just to quickly show the inside before the out I made a tool chest and I've got some stuff in there I made stone and gravel see my sound okay ores and minerals I didn't get too much but I got quite a bit food really need to work on getting more of that organic material with those two enchanted books and a bunch of loot so uh, as you can see I've made my foundations a lot more stable and so it's not as uh, risky <laughs> I suppose Osher won't shut me down now uh, Here's the outside. It's it's not really much yet, but I've got some big plans for this. So I hope you're excited. I'm excited. God damn. This is a beautiful tree that grew. I'm getting shot. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, uh, this episode, I think I'm going to try to get started on building some new Tekkit things. So without further ado... The first thing we want to do is get all these ores turned into ingots, but first we should pulverize them, and until you get a pulverizer, one of the best things that you're going to do is build a grindstone, which, control O, is right here. It takes three quartz, dust, two cobble three stone and a wooden gear which is made like that so let's get part of this done all right we got the stone we got everything else we need now we just need the dust and here we go uh, did I do that wrong I think I did that's embarrassing all right, one stone short. It happens. It happens. Get over it. Here we go. Just like that. And grindstone. And this baby will be your best friend for a while until you get a pulverizer, and then it just kind of sucks because this thing takes forever. But what do you expect? It's cheap. And that's how you make the crank. Make like a boomerang shape and then just right click it on. Grab some ore and we're gonna want probably iron first. But you can put three in so we'll do iron, copper, and silver. Because copper and silver are gonna be used a lot for what we're doing. And then you just hold right click. <laughs> after a very long time it starts to pulverize it. I guess it probably starts from the right first. So, we'll do it like that. 
we'll just do a couple more just so we can start cooking them and while I'm doing that I'm gonna look up pulverizer so that we can make one of these bad boys two flint two coppers a redstone reception coil which is made from redstone redstone and gold like that uh, and a piston and a machine frame all right so we'll just go ahead and do a couple of these <laughs> I'm actually just going to go off camera and do this because it's going to take a very long time. See ya! Alright, we're back. I made a little bit of progress uh, grinding them and smelting them. I haven't actually done all that much, but I forgot redstone, so I had to go get some. Uh, to make this receptacle, it's just, just redstone, redstone, gold. Uh, let's see, we're going to need a piston for the pulverizer so that means I don't know why I'm making glass that's for engines uh, wood planks at the top cobble along the sides redstone and iron to make the machine frame I believe it's like this and yeah Okay, it's the mitts. Just like this. Pulverizer, there we go. Got it. Alright, now we're going to need a good place to put it because um, I don't actually have a whole lot of room in here. It's mainly just a storage room. I might make another floor and put it all up there. In fact, I will do, but that'll be next episode. So for now, I'll just... Uh, I'll shove it here. Now what you do with this is um, take whatever. I'm going to have to actually pulverize this. Grind it, I guess. But you take um, any ores that you want and you stick them inside. And then you power it with a steam or combustion engine. And what you can do is uh, have a hopper above it. And the hopper will feed items directly into it, and then you can just put the furnace right next to it, and it'll automatically shove it in, and then a chest above it, and it'll automatically shove it into that too. So, what I'll do is go ahead and build the furnace, but to do that I'm going to need to venture out and get some clay. So, let's go get some clay. There should be some in here and a skeleton. Here we go. I don't need much, I just need I think eight. Which is what I found, so that's good. But just in case, if I see any more I'll grab it. That is a scary noise. No. Okay. cook up this clay and while that's cooking we will get to work on making an engine which depending on the type isn't too difficult <sighs> all right grab the rest of that uh, shove it in and an engine is built like a piston but I think it requires two gears depending on the engine redstone engines use wooden gears uh, they renamed them to sterling engines now and they use stone and combustion I think uses iron but to make an engine it's just a piston mixed with those glass and then whatever tier that you're using like this is stone you put stone on top and you get your engine the sterling engine 
and for me I usually use a lever and some coal. Charcoal works too. But you just set it, turn it on and put coal in it and it'll start pulverizing. So we'll pulverize the iron first because there's a lot and I feel like pulverizing iron. For me, I don't know. I don't really know how much you can put in before it explodes, but if you watch it, it'll be fine. I just tend to only put about 10 in at a time. One more brick and we can make the furnace. Alright, so we're going to need to make another frame. All of the machines in this seem to use the same frame, so it's alright. Couple bricks, the frame, the coil, the copper, and what is at the top? I can't remember. Redstone, I think. Yeah, powered furnace. Alright. Stick it next to it, and as soon as this starts heating up, it'll be popped into here, and it'll immediately go into here. And I'll have to build another engine and another chest, and you'll see what happens. Okay, same formula for the engine. You end up doing this a lot. I mean, it's it's fun, but sometimes it's kind of annoying having to do the same thing over and over. You quickly, quickly run out of resources in this tech it, and it kind of sucks, but oh well. It just means you get to mine more and more and more. Uh, let's build another lever. Oh, God. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate Endermen so much. Alright, we got our next lever. Pop it on. We'll put about 10. And after it. Uh, well, what you can do is take everything out and let it build up, and if it hits all the way up, you, you're you good. It'll go pretty quick. And as the engine heats up, it'll go faster too. But when this one starts going, you'll see that it'll just go straight into the chest. I'm not sure how to build the hopper for the thing, because it's not the standard one. It's this one. All right. Uh... I'm going to need more iron, so it's cooking at the moment. Um, I can build another chest, though, and another gear and get it all ready, and that'll be good. Okay, there's the gear, there's the chest. Now we just need five iron. I think it set the output to the top. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. You always have to make sure if this is orange, you go to configuration and set orange to the top, and it'll output to whatever's at the top. And it's the same way with most of these machines. Red, it'll go here. This one doesn't have red, but it just takes it in the blue. So, yeah. And sometimes when you're making iron, you'll get your iron dust as well as ferrous dust. It's like a 10% chance. And I'm sure it'll happen sometime, but for now I'm not worried about it. I've noticed that this seems to heat up a lot faster than this and that these are always getting done faster. I'm not sure if everyone else notices that too or not, but it seems to always happen to me. All right, one more iron and we will be good to go. Oh boy. So it is now one o'clock and Jared has left for his trip long ago. 
He left at 3 in the morning to go to the Philippines, if you remember, if you saw the podcast. If not, you should watch it. It's it's pretty good. And, yeah, so I'm wondering how he's doing. I mean, he is my best friend. I have to worry. Okay, and, like, you just stick it in there, and whenever the iron... Well, that's going to make it really inconvenient. When I get off camera, I'll build another floor and set it all up so that it's not a giant mess. But yeah, anyways, um, I'm wondering how he's doing. He's in a strange country he's never been in. He's never flown. He's never left the country. Pretty sure the extent of his traveling is Iowa. And we live in Kansas, so <laughs> who knows. Um, <coughs> I'm hoping he'll be okay. Not freak out if he sees something or if anything happens. But who knows? Who knows what Jared? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stick everything away. And I think I'm going to end it soon. See, look at this. When it starts getting green, it's starting to get dangerous. It'll go to blue to green. Blue to blue flickering green to green to green flickering orange to orange. Orange flickering red and then red. And then it has a high chance of exploding. But that's also when it outputs the fastest. Like, it's just going to storm through soon. And this one, it's still really slow. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it's taught you a little bit. I mean, I showed you how to make the grindstone. And again, it's not really useful as soon as you use it a couple times to build the pulverizer and the furnace. And... Yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, favorite, subscribe, whatever. I don't actually really care. I mean, it'd be nice, but do what you want. I'm going to... I don't know, I might just record another one. <laughs> Who knows? Alright, well, this is Marshall Mendez from the Shenanglers signing off. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.